I put it in water into the clay bucket. So I, I put in about, I don't know, two, three meters of water. And then I grab the more clay. And then get in one. Five scoops of clay, uh, and then I just quick go with the spade through it, and leave it to soften up. Leave it to soften up for. Um, I don't know, 10 minutes or so. So here we have to clay in the, the bucket or in the wheelbarrow and if you notice the top of the clay, uh, I'll just zoom to it. The top of the clay, uh, some of it's still a bit dry even though, <coughs> excuse me, it was in the bucket for yeah, about half an hour. <coughs> Pardon me. Anyway, because it's a little dry, I'm going to have to um, to work it just a little bit. But that's okay. So, I just, it's just one little section that's dry. Uh, and it has been softened, so even though it looks a little dry, it's very few lumps. That lump is a stone, so I don't worry about that one. And you don't need to bother taking the stones out. Just adds body to So here's our seven scoops of sand goes in next. And the next stage might be so the sand is being mixed into the clay. And this is quite an important stage. actually and what we do now is we add more water to it so I waited to add water because it was breaking up the lumps if you add water too early on it just the lumps run away from the shovel so now mix is very sloppy indeed Every single sand grain is getting a nice coating of uh, clay and you can probably hear the sandy sound of it and see consistency this is uh, coarse sand. So now we're adding the straw. I don't have any specific amount I add, so I just add what I think, which is probably uh, that's what I do. So we're adding straw, and I'm breaking up the little lumps in the straw as I go. So that's quite a lot of straw. And 
So the straw, I got about, must be about three inches of loose straw on top. So then, I turn it around, take the shovel, and the clay is going a little in through the straw, and suddenly I find I can't really mix anymore. Very quickly. So that's the end of the shovel work. Uh, next thing, we can have our little garden fork. Now, we're continuing to mix. And as you mix, you'll notice in the bottom, there's still a layer of clay that isn't really mixing in with the straw. So push it a little. And just push the clay and straw together. So Quite a bit of straw in there. So this stage we're coating every straw to clay. and just dump this out on the tarp and let it dry a bit overnight. It's uh, like a dung heap, no, no more, no less. And tomorrow I'll show you how it um, how it behaves. And here's the sound, um, or right to the front, I think. That's the sound of the clay particles rubbing against each other. That way, if you can hear the clay, or sorry, the sand particles. Scratching Ooh, against each so other. Dirty. Yeah, if you can hear the particles scratching against each other, that means you have the right amount of clay. It's too much clay and you can't hear them. My thanks to um, Stephanie Envelson for showing me uh, the tarp method of making cob. I couldn't actually use that myself because my knees are pretty bad and my ankles too. So this is the method I came up with in its place. And it's pretty quick. Uh, thanks to Catherine. And